Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to be making our image glow in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative. I'll be my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. And if there is anything you like about this video, make sure you softly touch that like button. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. This is the model we are going to be using and we are going to be starting by adding an adjustment layer by clicking on this adjustment layer icon and choose curves. The dark slider is for the shadow and the white slider is for the highlight. So we are going to drag the highlight up to an extent it will appear that the image is totally overexposed. So we are going to leave it this way. We can close this up to see our, our job very well. We can double click on this boss to bring out the layer style boss. We are going to make sure the blend if is set to gray. Then we are going to be using the underlying layer here. We are going to take this dark underlying layer. We're going to push it forward. We're going to push the slider forward until we notice we have the highlights separated from the shadow. Like we have highlights here, we have here, we have here, and you can see it around the nose and the lips. So we can leave it like, we can just leave it this way. So we can stop here. We are going to hold our alt to click on this angle to split it apart. Then we are going to spread it to blend the transition to make it smoother. So like this is okay. We are going to hit okay. You can always come back to make adjustments. Let's hit okay for now. We are going to select the layer mask and use our control I to invert the layer mask. Then we'll pick our brush tool and make sure the foreground color is white and the background color is black. We are going to be using our X to toggle between the foreground and the background. Make sure the foreground is white and the background is black. You make sure you have your hardness at zero for a soft round brush. We can zoom in and look for those areas with the highlights and painting the highlights. Can reduce the opacity and the flow. Opacity to like 50%, then flow to 50% also. Then you can start click can start clicking on the highlights. Can reduce the brush size to click on the highlight here. Then for this side, there is a highlight here. Then here. Then also the lip. We can clean up the lip for more highlights. Then we have it here also. Then we can also check for some of the metallic parts to see if there is any effect on them. Then let's check the body side and increase our brush here and bring out the highlights. We can also do the same thing here. Then here. I believe there is also something here. Then let's check the neck area if it's going to work. I think it's okay this way. Then like these beads, we can enhance them by clicking on them. These stones here, we can enhance them. So let's check this area and see if it's going to affect anything here. You have some metallic stuff here. Let's do it also. So as you can see, we already have some highlights on the stuff. Let's disable and see the before and after. This is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. Is it not looking amazing already? Let's go inside and check if there is anything we can add to it. Like... Like the clothing, the clothing, let's see what happened to the clothing. We can create another one for this. We can go to adjustment layer and choose curves also. We can see increase the light by turning this angle to the right side. Then we have the clothing brightened and let's remove this. And double click this to bring the layer style boss. We have to drag the underlying layer to the right until we have it focused on the clothing alone. So this is what we have here. 
So we have to hold our alt and click this angle to split it apart and give it a blending. So we have it like this. Just hit OK. Let's select our layer mask and use our Ctrl I to invert the layer mask. Then with our brush tool, we can also take it to 100% so as to be fast. So we can just drag around the clothing. There is little difference but so effective. So you can reduce the size of your brush when required and increase it when required. So let's check this black and see what's happened here. Nothing happened there. I think it should be okay. Like the what we did to this, we can still use it for this top side to see how it's going to look. If there is going to be any change, it's like I'm not seeing it. We'll try something else. Okay. It's not showing. Let's see the before and after. If there's there is a little difference there anyway. It's a little difference. So we have to toggle and erase this area. So another thing we are going to be adding is to make the hair shine also. We can also make the hair shine by we can also make the hair shine by adding another adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves and bring up the brightness to a particular level where you can see the hair very well. We can remove this. We we'll double click on the adjustment layer and bring that layer style boss. Then we can take the underlying layer down a bit, like so. I think like this is okay. Then we can split it apart by holding our alt to click on the angle and split it apart to for better transition. Then hit OK. Select the layer marks and use our Ctrl I to invert the layer marks. Okay, with our brush tool, we can paint in the highlights of the hair. We can also reduce the opacity and flow so that it will not be coming very fast. So as you can see now, the highlight of the hair is more visible. Let's see the before. This is before and this is after. So we can now see the highlight of the hair. Then what else? Let's try something out here. Let's try something out here. We can create for this clothing. Let's click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves. Then we can pick the white side for the bright area and bright it to a particular level. Then we remove this and double click here to bring the layer style boss and take the underlying layer forward a bit to see the beauty of the black or the clothing. So we have it like this to make it shine. Then we have to hold our alt and split the split the angle to turn the transition, make it smooth. Then we have to click OK. We have to select the layer max and use our Ctrl I to invert then use our brush to start painting isn't that amazing are you seeing what i'm seeing just take a look at what's happening here So this is separating the dark from the light. As you can see, you see the difference. It's so obvious. Let's check if we have any other thing that we can do here. I want something under this nose. I want this nose area to be shined because it's looking a little bit flat. I have to click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves again. Then take the bright side up so as the nose area will be visible. We have to remove this and double click here. To bring a layer style boss and drag the underlying layer forward to to see that the highlight under the nose area is visible 
then we have to leave it here then use our hold our alt hands to click this angle to split it apart and drag it apart for better transition then have to hit ok we have to select the layer marks and use our ctrl i to invert layer marks then reduce our brush size to fit the area i want to paint then we have to add it in you see as you can see we're having a wonderful highlight there so we can just add it with some part of that we'll add to the no stop let's look for something around this area since it's going to be a little bit shiny to lift up the nose so this is what we have here as you can see we have a kind of shine to this image let's put all of them in go select the top one then hold the shift to select the last one then use our ctrl g to place them in a group then we can put this off and on to see the before and after so this is before and this is after this is before this is after i don't know if you are seeing something let's take a look at the clothing this is before this is after this is before this is after let's take a look at the face this is before and this is after this is before this is after i think that's amazing isn't that amazing if you feel that the entire effect is too much on your image, you can select the group and go to your opacity and reduce the opacity to your liking. And you can still open the group and choose the one to reduce the opacity for. That's it for today. If there's anything you like about this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you find it interesting, helpful and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it would have helped and the area we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting the subscribe button and also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative Pool, keep on creating. Please stay creative. Continue creating. See you in the next one. Bye for now.